Shalom fellow stackers, welcome to the Stacking Pug. As I've said, our goal here is to help people getting into precious metals, as well as different strategies for stacking. So today I wanted to go into what I think are the best types of silver for beginners to stack. Welcome back everyone. As I said, today I wanted to go into what I think are the best types of silver for beginners to stack. And when you start thinking about this, you really need to ask yourself, why are you stacking? And in turn, how do you plan on selling or using your silver in the future? So let's go into a few scenarios. If you are stacking, for instance, as a hedge against inflation or as an investment, maybe you see the spot price of silver doubling in the next year. In that case, it would be best off buying silver that is easy to sell. If you have a local coin shop that you've developed a relationship with, you can find out what type of silver they like to buy, and thus that would be the easiest for you to sell. Generally speaking, your country's minted silver bullion is the easiest to liquidate. Living in the United States, for me, that would mean American silver eagles. Now this year, we did see the premium skyrocket on silver eagles. So if you are worried about your cost average, they may not be your best option. I will say that I have found it just as simple to liquidate Canadian maple leaves as it was American Silver Eagles. And at one point this year, I saw the premiums on maple leaves about half that of the American Silver Eagles. But in general, I would say buying the silver that's easiest for you to liquidate would be the best if you're buying it as a hedge against inflation. Now maybe you're stacking because you think that the US dollar could collapse. There could be a global reset. The US loses its status as a global reserve currency or any event that could lead to hyperinflation. In this case, the only thing that really matters is how many ounces you can get your hands on. It would make sense to stack generic silver as it typically has a lower premium than sovereign minted coins like the American Silver Eagles. You want as many ounces for the lowest price that you can get. So what is generic silver? Well, that is any round or bar not minted by a sovereign nation. Now with this in mind, I think it's very important to buy generic silver from a trusted mint and from a reputable dealer. So another scenario that you may be stacking for is if shit really hits the fan and you're using silver as money or to barter with. In this case, it's important to keep your transaction ability in mind. You don't want to have to trade a five ounce silver bar for a loaf of bread. For this, you'd want fractional silver, which is silver that is less than one ounce. Now, typically fractional gold and silver carry a higher premium than buying a single ounce coin or bar. The best fractional silver that carries the lowest premium is what you would want in a bartering situation. And for me in the United States, that means stacking constitutional silver, also called junk silver or 90% silver. But these are all of your dimes, quarters, half dollars, and dollar coins minted before 1965 in the United States. Now, being that they contain 90% silver, it's important to know the conversion rate for face value to silver content in the event that you're ever using fractional silver for buying or selling. It's really quite easy. A dollar 40 face value equals one ounce of silver. Now, there is one more type of silver that I think you should stack, and it might be the most important, and that is to stack what you like. For me personally, I really like the Pamp Swiss Lady Fortuna design. Even though they carry a higher premium than most sovereign coins, there's something about the design that I just love. So if there's a series or a collection of coins, or maybe it's a graded coin, if there's something that you really like, stack it. So I hope this video has helped some of you beginners decide what type of silver you want to start adding to your stack. If you like this video, please consider subscribing below and click that bell notification to get notified on our next video, and I will see you in the next one.